Photography is the only constant I have in my life and therefore I can take that all around the world. It's the art of what I do that keeps me who I am. As a photographer, I need to rely on my equipment. I just want to focus on being in the moment, getting that moment and taking that home. I love travel. When you've been exposed to these far-fetched destinations and different cultures, it opens your mind up. To document that and capture that and bring that home is a luxury. Having the right equipment is everything. I need something compact, lightweight, something I can condense in my backpack and reach for very easily. The payoff of putting myself into far-flung destinations is that moment that comes rarely, but I do get with that one-to-one -one interaction with wildlife. There's a silence that surrounds you. If you have the energy and you give that stillness, if you give that unthreatening presence, they will give you that shot. I like to gain knowledge and understand a person. So when I take a portrait, I'm already analysing them before I've even said hello. I'm looking at the movements, the way they present themselves, where their smile comes into place, you know, how they carry themselves. Using a zoom lens was very new to me because I really haven't done for some while. So working with the R6 and the 7200 F4, it felt right. The lens felt intuitive. For me, the 70-200 f4 is a great lens to use if you're wanting to build stories. And that's what I love so much about this lens. You can pull it back to 70 and get that beautiful portrait, or you can you know, get back out to 200 and get that more cinematic look as if you would on a prime. So it really gave me a whole array of shots I wouldn't necessarily have got before. When we were out on the sail ship, I had seals popping up on my right. I had the cormorants on the cliff. I don't want to be swapping lenses out in a sea environment. The 7200 F4 enables you to get the full story and not just parts of it. And I came away with the best shots and feeling extremely happy. When I was hiking to try and find the otters, there was some slight drizzle and light clouds. And it was drizzling for a couple of hours and no, it didn't stop me from shooting at all. It was like it was never even there. It's easy to, to keep pushing through on challenging shots and challenging weather conditions and keeping focus on getting the shot. Being presented with an F4 was, was going to challenge me slightly in not really the style of shooting is my go-to. I don't know what happened, but it didn't feel like an F4. <laughs> Working with this lens and working with this aperture, it didn't compromise my shots. Working in low light conditions, it didn't compromise my shots. The cinematic feel to the lens was absolutely beautiful. So the F4 with the 7200, that's a marriage. That combination works for me perfectly. I actually saw the otter sort of swimming just closer to shore than usual. I just sprinted across the rocks and just dived down just before the sort of ocean level. I actually had one hand on the rockery as I was suspended sort of going down into the ocean and I could hold the 7200 with one hand, keep it stable, at the same time keeping myself really still and then capturing that shot of the otter coming up. Normally at that time my arm would be aching or I'd have to bring my other hand in to support the lens but shooting such a lightweight lens I didn't need to do that and I don't think I would have got that shot otherwise. I think it would have been really challenging. The 70 200 F4 has provided me with an array of shooting opportunities. The spontaneous moments that present themselves are normally the gold shots, are normally those moments which are so candid and unexpected they're the ones I come home with. The purpose of this trip was to go on a journey to bring back a story, to experience everything. The people, the landscapes, the wildlife, it's everything. And the lens enabled me to do that. And leaving's a little sad, but there will be another adventure.